guys today is about MASH um, or to be precise let me call it motion graphics so when you go to motion graphics and um, like just like um, like the motion graphics I did um, yesterday um, that is the easiest way to do that with MASH so um, let me show you guys how to do that so um, I'm gonna uh, just highlight everything and I'm going to convert everything but watch it before you do anything you need to um, freeze transformation so that you don't have issue but start if you've been working on, on a particular project before before you use it as a uh, mash you need to come up to freeze transformation so, so just go to freeze transformation and you can see everything is at the initial state so that is exactly what we want now I like everything and just you can click on motion graphics if you're using uh, 2017 Maya. So just go to um, create mesh network. So click, and there we have it. So this is it. As you can see, this is kind of in a, um, the linear state. So we need to um, kind of go to click on mesh over here. It's clicked. So we need to go to attributes editor, um, the repro. So you see all the list of what we've converted. Like this is everything, bevel, polygons, and the likes. This is everything. So we can go to let's go to mass distribution and go to here initial state. So we can put initial state. We have a, the initial state over here. But now we can go to mash and hiding. How to hide it? So this is our um, initial state of our um, 3D logo. So let's add some animations to it or some motion graphics to be precise. So we can go to March 1 again. What should we use? Let's use random. Let's add random. So this is random. See, it's just scatter everything and we can set this as uh, motion graphics just go down and see the strength so bring in the strength as you can see we have it over there so take it back so we can use this and as uh, animation though it's not uh, much scattered like this you can go over to the translate and probably translate the position let's use to um in Hall two. Let's use two over here and two here and also two over here. Yeah, I think that's cool. Now we can animate this. Should we rotate? Let's leave it that way. So um, let me go and click the mash again. Okay, let's go back to random and um, select three. Let's use three. So that we can have enough stuff to work on so three so let's increase this to um five this also to five this also to five so that we can have much scattering oops this is 65 this is 65 the z is 65 that's cool let's leave it that way um we can continue working let's go to the strength random strength let's use the random strength yes we would use this so we can add from one just um set key and let's select the auto key so that we won't have the um bordering ourselves doing um so um let's now move this to the side and there we have it so if i go back and just play play so i have that so this is just coming just like that we can add spring to it, like spring bouncing. So let's go to mash, um, mash one. What I'm not doing. So mash one and spring. So hard spring. So when it closes, it's it's not very obvious, but we can always increase the strength. So let's take the strength to ten, and now let's try it again. Um, go to the first frame and play. First frame play play think I hope you can see that 
like so stiffness let's reduce the stiffness yeah and what about the damping or oh, increase it yeah so um so another thing that we can do with uh, mash is uh, let's try this let me create polygon cube and i have my cube over here so i'm gonna go to motion graphics and click on my mash so i have the mash over there so let's me go to attribute editor and here i have it over here so um we can go to the distribution let's use grid let's use grid so i'm gonna fill everything with the key so we can go to grid to edit this so these let's make it 50 50 by 50 probably or 40 should we make it 40 yes let's make it 50 50 by 50 yeah 50 and x also let's make it 50 so 50 along x and along so we can just change this expand this to like so i think 50 is too much let's use 40 40 so 40 40 so Sixty, yeah, um, fifty. Let's use fifty, fifty. Oops, that was a mistake. Fifty, fifty. Um, changes to fifty. <clears throat> so now, um, I think we're good to go now. So I'll go to March one and. <clears throat> let's use the influence so i'm gonna click on the influence hard influence so we're going to have some kind of um let me select this so um we can bring this up like bring this up this is so so much to be so um i don't know what i'm doing i'm just showing you guys things stops so we can click on rotate and rotate to this side this side i know where you want to rotate it to this is a hair part of an animation i really love this and just pull it around check it how to save and see what you can do with this you can do a lot of things with this so we can animate this all we need to do is just go to match one influence and um probably go to move to and you can move this um uh, how should i put it how should i do this okay let's do it this way you can um as you can see we can move it from here so just go to this place and go here click on hit and kit selected and you can go to probably 35 or 30 and you can move it to the other side and you can um select the key over there also so let's go to the first frame and just press play. This is faster, something like that. Or probably let me increase it so that you can see the movement clearly. So um, go to the first frame back and see. Psst, that is the influence. That is the influence. You can see it from any side from here it's going it's going so that's um another um way that you can use the mash that is another way you can use the mash so that is um the magic of mash i hope you guys love these and i'm hoping that <clears throat> you're gonna like it share it, and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i say we shall be meeting again in peace and not in pieces so Peace out, guys.